it, we're going to perform the close blood. Open the sterile glove, wrapper with the hand are still covered with the sleeves like this one. And then put the glove on the non-dominant hand. My non-dominant hand is the left one. So, but be sure, but be sure that the cuff will be holding the cuff, okay? And then put it on the non-dominant hand. Make sure that the thumb is facing the thumb, thumb to thumb, okay? And then you open it. Okay. And then make sure that the non-dominant hand also pull it inside the face. Okay, then you grab it by using your dominant hand, which is the right hand. Okay, let's see. Okay. And then you pull the sleeves. Pull it. So that you will have the gloves. You will have the fingers. Here, like this. Drop the thumb. That's why we need. That's the rationale why it's thumb to thumb. Fingers to fingers. And then you pull the sleeves. So it's still sterile to sterile. We're holding the cup because the cup is, un is already uh, unsterile, okay? And your hand is sterile. Okay. Okay. Now, how am I going to do that? So, for the right one, this is the, the dominant hand. Open it up. Just do the same, like this, holding the seat. And then this time, lay the glove on the opposite gown, thumb side down. Position the, non the dominant hand across the cuff of the glove through the gum cuff and firmly anchor it. With the dominant hand working through the sleeve, grasp the upper side of the glove's cuff, okay, and stretch it. You, since this one is already sterile, like this, you put it here. See? It does not contaminate the glove, okay? And then be sure that it's from glove to glove, from thumb to thumb, from thumb to thumb, and then okay, it's thumb to thumb. Be sure to grab it like this. Be sure it's from thumb to thumb, so like this. Okay. So now do it the same steps. Okay, like this. Be sure to hold it here, since this is the, the ready sterile and the cup is unsterile. Okay? And work it throughout like this. See, you're still holding on the sterile part. Okay, now, now all you have to do is work throughout okay. like this. Now you can manipulate the gun because this is sterile. Do not touch this one. Okay. So you have it already uh, on the closed lobby. Now, basically, you, what you can do, you can um, hold your gown on the front from the waist up. Never do it like this, like this, or the back. Or you can do it like this, or this, or this. Okay? Now, since we already have tied the upper or the back portion, you need to make sure that this one, the front one, okay, you need the circulating nurse. So give it to the circulating nurse and then make, pull it, make, and then hold, have it hold. This one on the end only. And then make a three quarter turn. And then I can tie it up. Thank you. Be sure to hold this part because this is the one sterile. And then, now don't hold on the edge. Okay. Now you're sterile. Now I'm going to discuss about the rules of a septic technique. An article is either sterile or unsterile. If there is any doubt, consider it unsterile and throw it out. Two, sterile packages fields are open and created as close as possible as the time of actual use. Moist areas are not considered sterile. Anything that has been contaminated by water, by sweat, 
is considered contaminated. Contaminated area items, that's number four, must be removed immediately from the sterile field. So if there is any instrument that fell down from the media table, let the circulating nurse throw it out and never bend or put your hands below your waist. And uh, fifth, only areas that can be seen by the surgeon are considered sterile. The back of the doctor or the back of the nurse or scrub nurse is considered unsterile or contaminated. Gowns, number six, are considered ster sterile only in the front from chest to waist and from hands to slightly above the elbow. Okay? This one is unsterile. Seven, tables are considered sterile only at above the level of the table. Below the main table is considered unsterile. And eight, not sterile items should not cross above a sterile field. That's why there's a marginal space. Okay? And number nine, there should be no talking, laughing, coughing, or sneezing across a sterile field. Ten, personnel with cold should avoid working while ill or apply a double mask to avoid contamination. Eleven, edges of the sterile areas fields are generally are not considered sterile.